Biomechanics is essentially the study of internal and external forces which act on the human body. An example of an internal force would be soft tissue forces such as muscle forces, cartilage forces or bone on bone forces. And an example of an external force would be something like the effect of gravity which acts on the human body. Biomechanists use a wide variety of equipment such as accelerometers, dynamometers which measure muscle forces and force platforms which measure the external forces or ground reaction forces which act on the human body. We also use motion capture systems which can be video based or infrared based and they measure the motion of the human body through external markers. A force plate is essentially a very expensive set of bathroom scales which essentially measures forces in three directions, a front back direction, a sideways direction and a vertical direction which we combine together to call a resultant force vector. That force vector we feed into the human body or up from the ground into the ankle and the lower leg and we can work out things like bone forces and muscle forces. Motion capture is another tool that we use to record human motion. In addition to force plates which measure the external forces, we need a method to identify how the human body is actually moving. And this can be done a variety of ways using a variety of methods. You can use it 2D or 3D. 2D motion analysis would utilise just a standard at home video camera. Most commonly in biomechanics we use three dimensional motion capture systems because they're more accurate than two dimensional systems. And the reason for this is we use external markers on the body which we can put at joint centres or to identify joint centres on the wrist, the elbow or knee joint for example. Using these markers we calculate three dimensional kinematics from the human body. So the markers are used to represent the underlying skeletal motion and from that we can calculate joint angles, joint velocities and joint accelerations such that we build up a picture of human motion and combined with the ground reaction force data we can not only work out how the body is moving but also what forces are acting on the body and how the internal musculature is dealing with those forces. In cricket we use this information to actually change bowler's techniques. We know in cricket that bowlers have a high incidence of lower back injury particularly in the lumbar vertebra region. So what we do is use those external markers and the forces and we calculate the forces acting at the lower back and we can change a bowler's technique in order to minimise those forces and reduce their incidence of injury. A clinical example of where this information is used is in cerebral palsy, where children come into this lab and we analyse their gait pattern or walking action prior to surgery then we meet with the surgeons, the physiotherapists and their occupational therapists to determine what surgical procedures should be conducted. Twelve months later the children return to the lab and we determine whether the surgery was successful by checking their gait pattern in comparison to their pre-surgical walking action and then we can help the surgeons determine what to do next time round if, the, if further surgery is necessary.